Rusty, what's going on, my guy? What up, Paige? It's going live tonight, man. I got some new clippers. I just want to do like a, I don't know, go live and unbox some stuff. Um, but, yeah, I, I didn't want too much. Just wanted to kick it with my people for the night. I don't know what y'all got going on. What up, Josh? Mr. McClain. Got the crew together. How y'all feeling tonight, man? What y'all got going on? Everybody at the crib like me, I see. <laughs> All right, so y'all asked me. Oh, okay, my, my bad. My sound is low. Let me turn this up. Is that better? Let me know if that's that's better or not. And I can also move my mic a little higher. How is that, Rusty? Let me know. Let me know. Or Paige, either one of you guys. So are all of you guys already licensed barbers? Are y'all already in the shop or what? Also, I want to jump right into it. Like, I want to get to the the unboxing so, uh, first of all, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm Christopher Miniweather. This is Deadstock Barbershop, and we are live, guys. This is this is always good. Like I enjoy going live. I love uh, kicking it with y'all, man, and and it's a blessing to be able to have this this experience. So, I got three packages here tonight. Um, who was that? Paige, was that you? I don't know if that was you. One of you guys had said, um, hold on. I want to see if someone else say it's low or not, or if it's just my phone. Uh, Rusty says this is better. Am I coming to, bro, I didn't even know it was a, f a faded culture class tomorrow. So is that at the, um, is that at Fort Worth Barber Supply? And who has, what time is their class? Like if it is in, in, in if it is in Dallas or in Fort Worth, um, it's tomorrow as in Saturday. Like what time? Like I work Saturday. So that's kind of weird. Normally you catch classes on like a, um, a Monday, Sunday, Monday type deal. eBay y'all eBay. I love eBay. Okay. So let's, let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to unbox. Oh, I also have a third package that I've been waiting. Um, I know one of you guys, I don't know if that was Giovanni, one of y'all hit me up and was like, yo, you need to get the, um, you wanted the Mythic Clippers, go ahead and, and I think he sent me a link to something on eBay or something like that, whoever it was, and I went on there and I was able to get the, the Clippers for actually a, a really good price. It was like 120 bucks or something like that. But I also have this package right here. So th there's three packages that I'll be opening. This one, I guess it'll be like a bonus. And just so you guys know, the um, this this bonus package, I've actually had it for like five, six months. So I, <laughs> I bought this item, and I was like, oh, I'm going to unbox it on the channel. And then y'all know I wasn't on the channel, so I ended up forgetting all about it, and it was in my house. So. All right, so I want to start off with the Clippers just because these are what I really, I really, really wanted these shoes. I mean, these shoes, these Clippers. And it's the Mythics. Let me see. I thought I had something to open a box up with. Oh, yeah, I do. And let's see how they package this stuff up. Ah, you know, they got some good tape. All right, there's that. Got the U line joint. It's kind of weird. So they. This is outside of the box. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Like I said, I got this off eBay from Stylecraft, and I believe they were new. So I don't know why that is just, that cord is just in the box like this. But nonetheless, so y'all asked me if I had any new clippers last time, and I hadn't bought anything. And um, so, yeah, I got these right here. I've used them once before 
and I really, really enjoyed this clipper. It has the stretch bracket, like the um, just like the other ones that I told you guys, the the Ergo Plus that I got. And I'm thinking about, do you guys? Let me know. Do any of you guys have the uh, the Filthy mod from Filthy Blends? Because I know he has the the uh, the modification that where you can put basically any blade on whatever clipper that you're using. And so I thought about like maybe putting a master blade on these and, and making them cut like making the, the my own pair of cordless masters. It's a pretty nice box. It reminds me of getting like a phone or something. Let's see. The box is kind of ripped over here. I wonder if this stuff is used. I don't know. Like I said, I, I ordered it from Stylecraft. On their eBay page, I thought it was new. The clippers don't appear to be used. Uh, I'll get a close-up. I don't know if you guys mess with these, if you guys have seen these yet. But here they are. These are the Mythics. They have that Fusion Blade, which apparently is like a... The fusion blade is supposed to be like a taper blade and a fading blade, I guess, all at the same time. A fade blade and taper blade. So, about time what? Let's see what this guy is talking about. What you what you talking about, Concise? <laughs> Doc Vlogs, what phone box you talking about? A house phone? Oh, man. I just meant kind of like quality, you know? <laughs> Like, you know, you get, like, a new iPhone or something like that. Like, the boxes are kind of dope. Um, inside this box is, let's see. Inside the box we have, of course, your guards. So, these guards ha are there. They're magnetic. I'll just open it up real quick so y'all can see. So, you got a double magnet guard system. Then you got, of course, the stretch bracket inside of here, as well as oil and a little brush. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. So, look, I got two sets of guards in here. <laughs> I don't know what's up with, uh, with Stylecraft. Uh-oh. Did I unplug something? Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm over here. My stuff fell on this this thing. So yeah, it's two sets of guards in here, and you also get a, a faceplate, so you can change that. I feel like the faceplate looks a little scratched up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah, here's a new pair of clippers, and like I said, this charger was not inside this box. <laughs> It was inside the box that it shipped in, but not inside the package. My bad, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm over here tripping. I'm tripping. So that's the that's the first package. Uh, let's see what y'all talking about. Concise said, "What's up, Paige?" Yes, I finally got some new clipper. <laughs> uh. Everybody got jokes of what DC said. He's just trying to be fun, but that clip funny, but that clipper looks nice for sure. Yeah, man, they, they have a weight on them that's I think they may be heavier than masters. I don't know. I don't know. I would have to weigh them um to check. But concise, here you go. Here's the sabers. We're gonna open this joint up right now, like so. They got this thing all eBay it out. I, I don't know if you guys shop eBay, but when I saw these on there, it said the price was, I think, concise. What was the price of these on the on the website? You know, what was the price for the for the sabers like retail? Mr. Crackhead Sabers East. I don't know what that means. By Baby Kiss. What are y'all writing? <laughs> it's like, is everybody just writing stuff wrong? 
Um, anybody know the original price for the the sabers? I never used the FX three. He said he went and ordered the rose gold. Yes, sir. Okay, so one seventy nine. Thank you, Rusty. You you you're the only help in here. Uh, inside of this box, there's a letter. Dear value customer, thank you so much for purchasing from eBay store. All right, there's that. Here are the trimmers. Mm, 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 mm. There's the box. I guess I can read some of the stuff. Y'all probably already saw some of these things. Um, Long life digital brushless motor offers more efficient power transfer for smooth um what smooth operation and reduction of heat. Okay, so they're supposed to stay pretty cool apparently. Um fully adjustable blade, they can be zero gap. Premium gold titanium X Pro wide fixed blade and deep tooth DLC moving blade combo. That's a mouthful. Um pause. High torque Digital brushless motor that has seven seventy five hundred RPM. So these joints is moving. And then it tells you everything that's included in the box. One thing I will say to you guys is this is important. This right here, one year warranty. Um, you guys, a lot of times we'll get these trimmers and clippers. We buy all this stuff and, and things go wrong. And then we just go online and complain about it. Like, oh, man, this stuff is trash. Bro. All of this stuff has at least a one-year warranty. So what you want to do is go on to the website and see where you can register your new product so that they know that you have purchased this and they can see when. Plus, you want to have your proof of purchase available. However you guys save your receipts is a must. Concise with the late one seventy four ninety five. I I don't know why he's telling me that now after Rusty is already – uh, filled me in, but I went on eBay and on eBay, I saw these trimmers and it said like one fifty four or best offer. And I'm like, or best offer. So I'm going to make an offer. So I think I, I told them I'd pay one forty five just to see what would happen. And within a few minutes, it was like accepted. And I'm like, what? That's crazy. So just a heads up. You guys, even though this stuff is new, you can still go on eBay and somebody has a better price than even the website as well as. Uh, so what you got to think about is that 175 is not the price that the stores are getting these for. These things are probably, if I had to guess, 95 to maybe $110 for the store. And that's that's if they go to, through a wholesaler. But if they if they have a direct connect to the store, then they're getting this stuff for pretty cheap. So when they go on, they uh, you know they they put this stuff on their online stores, and even if uh, so, if they got it for eighty to ninety bucks, and I offered them one hundred forty five dollars, that's still profit. So it's a dis a huge discount. It's it's a better discount than Rusty fifteen. But just in case you don't want to go to eBay, you don't trust those guys. Use code Rusty15, or you can use code CRUSH10. <laughs> Everybody has a discount code. <laughs> That's funny. Or you can use Concise. I'm sure he has uh, a discount code for this stuff as well. That's crazy. Everybody's affiliate, affiliate marketing. Awesome, guys. Get your money. Everybody's smarter than me. I don't have that. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's open them up. Let's see what's inside. So, uh. So same kind of packaging as the other. We got the trimmer, of course. And you have a, a dock for it. Well, you guys know what the dock looks like, so let's just move that out. It's just a small version of the other one. And then we have the, the cord as well as a um, the oil. And a patented Stylecraft, uh, whatever this thing is, screwdriver. Oh, and I, I thought this was pretty dope. So th they can be charged um, with a USB, a micro USB cord. 
or you can put them on the dock and, and charge them as well as I'm sure you can probably plug the cord directly into them if you don't want to use the dock or the USB. So that's pretty dope. Let's, uh, let's test these bad boys out. They don't got the sticker on there to say charge fully before use, so I'm I'm ready to open these up. Oh, that's pretty fire. Okay, so let me let me go over here to camera two. So come on, focus for me. Focus. There we go. So this this cap, this um this cover is actually the zero gap setter. So no more on the money blade setter from uh, Chuka or any of these other little things. You can do it directly on this cap. So that's that's pretty fire. Um, <laughs> hey, DC said, <laughs> Rusty got me by 5%. You might want to go shop with Rusty, man. He got <laughs> he the real plug. I don't know if DC got these. Uh, he got those sign up for my email listing discounts, 10% off. All right. Um, all right. Paige says, "Got it. Got what's that? Got to try to get more passive income at all times." Yes, definitely, definitely. And Rusty says, "And if you got Mythic or Saber Clipper, you can charge the Saber Trimmer on the charge stand." Dope. That's dope. We going Yeah, yeah. That's fire. I like that. I like that. Um, I don't trust barbers who use cordless clippers on the. On the cord. <laughs> oh, my bad. Let me put this. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's pretty funny. He doesn't trust barbers that use cordless clippers with the cord on them if they're not dead. All right. So I heard these. How many of you guys have these already? I heard that they are, are really good. Uh, really quickly, guys, if you're new uh, and you're just now joining us, I am Christopher Miniweather. This is Deadstock Barbershop. And today we're unboxing a few clippers, trimmers, and then I have one other item that I'll be unboxing as well. So thank you for joining us. We got 12 people in here and we got three likes. If you guys don't like me, like why? Like just like it, guys. But nah, but on a on a real man, we're just opening up some some new trimmers and clippers that we just got in. Um, so these were the first ones for those of you who missed it. If you don't know what these are, zoom on in there. These are the Mythics. The I think they're from Stylecraft. Stylecraft Mythic. And I feel like this this build quality on these joints is so right. Like they did their thing with these. And and I like them. And I I also like this wide lever. Like for your thumb. Like Let's see. Yeah, I I like that. Especially if you got big hands. Pause. Um yeah, man, y'all y'all hit the like button. Hit that like button. Thank you, guys. So back to what I was saying. These are the two clippers and trimmers that we unboxed today. The Sabres, which came out, I believe, last month, if I'm not mistaken. And the Mythics, which have been out for a while, but I just, I've been asleep on them. I used them once, and I really liked it. They have the stretch bracket. We show what, what came inside. This will be replayed just in case you guys missed it. It'll be, um, I'll, I'll post it or something on, on YouTube. But I think I've heard that these come out of the box, like hitting. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to try them out, man. I hadn't shaved. I was going to go live a couple days ago. And so I, I end up not doing it. And it's, so uh, I'm like, okay, I, I really need to shave. All right. I'm going live tonight. Okay. So let's see. Rusty says, yeah, I have them. They are really nice and smooth, but a uh, nice oh, but a but but a nice crispy line too. The one cutting blade is great. Yes, sir. What up? What up? He says, "Yo, Ghost, I love the Mythics at first. Okay, here we getting into some. So I love the Mythics at first, but they really do get heavy and aggravated. I bought the Rebels and haven't picked my Mythics up since." Question, did you cut with the Masters before? Do you cut with Masters? Because I really think that makes a huge difference if you're used to weight versus you've been cutting with, like, Magic Clips or something really light or any of the Ergo line clippers. 
because I've been cutting with masters, corded masters for years, and I don't mind the weight on them, but you definitely notice the weight difference once you pick up something else. So I, I wonder, what are you using? What, what have you been using prior to getting your Mythics that made you realize, like, man, these things are just way too heavy for me? Um, DC says his didn't hit out of the box. He had to zero gap them, and then they became fire. And it depends on the hair texture, though. Man, honestly, I feel like that with some of their clippers, too, the Stylecraft clippers. I'm like, these are good, but I noticed they work even better on straight hair and, and things like that. Um, he says, no, I didn't. He started with the seniors. The seniors are, they're not lightweight either. You know, those are pretty, you know, they're all metal, so they're they're pretty heavy clipper as well. The Rebel and Boost are my favorite clippers right now with the with the Vapor Blade. Man, are y'all making up stuff? I feel like everybody's been bothering me, or am I just so far out of the loop? <laughs> I don't know if these are typos or if this is, like, new products that I don't know what it is. Uh, welcome, guys. Let's get these likes up so that the YouTube algorithm knows that we are live and we can get more folks in here. Um, once again, we are, we've unboxed the Sabres. We've unboxed the Mythics, and now I'm about to try to get myself a, a slight line down here. So I'm I'm the the customer that you guys have with the struggle beard, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I got me a nice little struggle struggle beard going, but I'm not really going to edge up the top. I'm just hitting lines down here to just to see what grows in. You know, I'm, I'm 36, so I'm that guy that I'll be like I'll be telling like, bro. You 40, bro. You don't got a beard yet. It's not coming. Stop playing. <laughs> they be like, hey, 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 just leave it wide. I'm like, bro, you got five hairs on your face. What are you talking about? Leave it wide. Uh, <laughs> advertising moment. I am Christopher Miniweather. This is Deadstock Barbershop. Welcome to the channel if you're just now tuning in with us. And let's switch cameras. And let's see if I can edge myself up without messing it up too bad. What do y'all think about the button in the front? I, I don't mind that placement on that button. I, I don't know if I'll end up messing up. Look at all these grays. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. I thought I was gonna be able to <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to do this like a mirror, but it's not as accurate. Oh uh, no. Okay. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at my monitor. I feel like my monitor is just a little more accurate than my computer. Okay, I might be a bad example of this. But I feel like I like how they feel. And I can feel them cutting, but I'll have to use it at work. It's definitely close, but my struggle beard ain't the one to be trying to uh test stuff out and see if things hit or not. Yeah, I'll do a video. <laughs> I'll do a video. Um, oh, that's why y'all were saying Mr. Crackhead. That's a person. Bro, why is your name Mr. Crackhead? Like, <laughs> I got to I gotta hear the story on why your name is Mr. Crackhead. Are these worth getting? I don't know. Like, is crack worth doing? <laughs> why is this man named Mr. Crackhead? But, um... From from what I hear, man, these these things are really really good. I'm not going to zero gap them until I've used them on a customer and seen how they work. Um, DC said he used his, and they weren't hitting out the box, so he had to zero gap them. But my my boy told me a couple of days ago um, that his was straight out of the box and that he's not going to touch it. So uh, let's see. An unnamed barber channel said the Mythics are supposed to be better versions of Masters and Rebels. Why is this channel unnamed? Is that is that what it's called, or are you just calling it unnamed? You don't want to say their name? Who you over here hating on, bro? You could say anybody's channel name on here. Like, 
It's enough viewers to go around for every channel. Who said that they're better? Like they're supposed to be better than the masters. Long story from high school. Didn't sleep much in high school, so I was always tired and never got a new YouTube account from 20 years ago. What was your YouTube account about? Like crack? <laughs> All right. They are worth it. Far hair, texture hair. So what is, okay, DC looks like a black man. He says, we have to zero gap them if you want a crispy line if you're doing black customers. Uh, like I said, my boy, he's black, and the majority of his clientele is is black as well. And he um, and he was like, bro, they're, they're hitting right out the box. So, and then I, I also realized that people have different definitions of what a hitter is because I, I see some people, they're like, oh, these are hitting. I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. They're working. They work, but they're not hitting. Like, you'll know if you got a hitter. And I think a lot of people are using trimmers in it that they, they're not hitting, but they think they are. Um, oh, not saying their name if the information isn't act. Okay, so you protecting the witnesses, you know. All right, so here's my last box. I'm not going to be on super long tonight, guys. Uh, my family's actually waiting for me. Um, we're going to read the Bible here in a second, which is dope. We've been doing it every day since the beginning, the first day of the year. And so here we are. The plan was we, we were following a, a Bible reading plan that, that gets you to read the whole thing in a year. And so here we are at like day 280 something, 289 or day 290 of the year. So it's been dope. I've just been able to read to them. And it's funny because I didn't realize how much I don't read. You know, I didn't read until I started reading. And then I, I see my, my reading improve tremendously. Not that I couldn't read, but just it was just so much better. Hey, hey. So, yeah, these things have been sitting here in my house. I thought it was going to be a shipping uh, packaging, uh, whatever you call it, the little shipping letter in there to tell me when I ordered these shoes. I ordered these shoes at least, I don't know, like five months ago or something like that. But like I said, I wasn't on my channel, so I didn't unbox them. I want to unbox them with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to wear them but, or put them up in the shop. But here we go. Here we go. So these are the Nike Barber Dunks. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. They've been out for a while now, so you probably have seen them. But there were there were two pair. There were these as well as a gray pair. I actually think I might like the gray pair better. Get up close so y'all can see some detail. Let me see. I thought this was pretty dope. They put the guard, <laughs> the clipper guard on the front. <laughs> now, my only true gripe with these shoes is the actual color. So if these are going to be uh, for barbers, all of us that are barbers on here know, or if you've ever seen a barber pole, you know that this, this light blue is not a barber pole color. And even on the shoe, on the detail portion, in here, let me see, let me focus in a little bit. Like, it's actually a much darker blue than this. And so this that's just me being a a uh I guess nitpick picky person. What do y'all think about the, the, the design? Like doing like a haircut design. I, I feel like they should have got like Rob the Original or something, somebody to come up with a design that was like little doper than this. These are designs that I was doing in, in barber school. <laughs> but I, I love that our I love that our um our craft is getting so much recognition. Oh I didn't even know I didn't notice this on the uh on the aglets right there. That's dope how they did the two tone joints. Man, I might end up wearing these shoot. 
I really, I really do like them now that I got them, seeing them in person. When I had them on, when I saw them online, I was like, ah, they're cool. Um, I don't know how many of you guys know. Oh man, this this Nike sign is like some kind of weird textile textured material, and it's it's actually pretty clean. But yeah, I don't know if you guys know. So of course, my the name of my shop is Deadstock Barbershop. Deadstock being a sneaker like this, so it's a brand new unworn pair of sneakers. And so my shop is is basketball and sneaker theme. I got shoes and and pictures and posters and jerseys all over my wall inside my my private suite. And so I, I have a glass case and it has like a pair of um, of Kobe sixes in there, um, the Jeter ones, uh, and a, a couple other shoes I can't think of off the top of my head, but man. I was thinking about just putting these up in the shop, but I might have to wear these. <laughs> like for real, I might have to. I might have to put these on and, and order another pair. I don't. I don't know if they are sold out now. I definitely wouldn't mind having the gray pair. But yeah, so I'm glad you guys are here with me, so I can unbox these shoes. Like I said, I've been waiting for months, and or I forgot about it for months. But I didn't want to do it without doing it on the channel because it's the perfect mixture of me like i love sneakers i love barbering and yeah it's it's just dope you can't go wrong with a nice pair of dunks i don't even know what i would wear the wear with this just because that blue is just so i don't know what, what would y'all wear with this what y'all think you can always just get a black all black t-shirt or something but i'm a i'm a cap guy i love hats as well so yeah so yeah, that's that's the sneaker right there. What y'all think about those? What y'all think about those? So we got we unboxed three things tonight. We got the mythics, the sabers, and the barber shop dunks. And man, that's all I got. We got eleven more minutes. I'm, I'm gonna hop off at ten so we can go down. I can go down there and read uh, anything you guys want to talk about in this um, in this time. Any questions, anything I can help? I uh, I want to, as I said the last time I was on, I want to get back to doing the cut critics. I need to set a day when we go live. When do you guys think, what's a good day for live? I know a lot of people, like Fridays is really not a good day to go live because most people are, are doing things, you know. Al, you, that's just typically it's not a good day for um, for this type of channel, you know more educational based things. If it was just like pure entertainment, you know, all of those things are, are pretty cool. You know, people will tune in all the time for that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. I'm going to scroll back up and see what y'all talking about. Okay. So y'all rocking with them. Yeah. Rusty says nice. DC says nice. Y'all rocking with the kicks. Let's see what the crackhead said. <laughs> Do you like babyless compared to stylecraft? Um, I've been using, uh, are you talking about clippers or trimmers? Because I don't really use, this is my first pair of Stylecraft trimmers. I had tried a different pair from one of my friends before and I was like, nah, these are, these are not hitters. And I think they were called like the hitters. They were like gamma hitters or something like that. And his, I don't know. It, it just, it didn't do it for me. Um, Rusty says. I'm a white trainer wearing guy, LOL, love, love an all white pair. Bro, I love uh, a, a all white pair of low top Air Force Ones. I used to buy those every single year, every year. Like you got to get a new pair of ones. And it's crazy because I'm from Portland, Oregon. So Nike is huge out there. We have the Nike company store. So if you work for Nike or your, your, you know, immediate family, like a brother, sister, mom, dad, um, grandparent or something like that. If they work for Nike, then you get to be put on the Nike employee store list. So you can go in there. Everything is 50% off and there's no sales tax in Oregon. So we were getting low top air force ones, like $35. And bro, I had so many air force ones. And uh, it's funny because one of my customers, my birthday was last month on the 8th. And one of my customers uh, sent me a text and was like, 
bro, go on to the Nike site and send me a screenshot of whatever shoe you want. Like, pick out a shoe. And so I went, and I wasn't looking to get White Air Force Ones, but I just saw on there that they were like $140 or something like that. I'm like, bro, everything is getting so expensive. Like, everything is getting so expensive. Rusty says, if they did them in white, I'd be all over them. Look at the – it's two pair, Rusty. Check them out. They're um, they're they're gray, but they're not a bad-looking shoe. I Like, after I had saw other people with the gray ones online, I was like, man, I probably should have ordered those. And honestly, like, if you go on GOAT or something like that, they're probably not too much. It's not like – for me, it, to me, it wasn't a, like a highly sought after, ooh, a barbershop shoe, but it's dope if you're a barber and you recognize that our craft and our industry is being recognized. Um, I, I think that is super dope. Yes, Tom, it said 140. I might, I need to double check, but I know I saw 140 for low top all white Air Force Ones. I was like, no, no way. What's good, broski? Much love that you're showing us your knowledge, gems, and wisdom in the barber game. Many blessings, y'all. Hey, Jose, thank you, my guy. Thank you. Appreciate you tuning in with us tonight, man. And that, and that's what we do, man. You get information and you you share it. You spread it on, and I promise you, you'll always be rewarded. Even if you're doing it for free, like, you will be rewarded. I personally, I love our craft. I love people, and so that's like the perfect concoction of, man, give to people the knowledge that you have. That way the craft continues to grow, and I want you guys, like I got customers who drive a couple hours to see me, hour, hour and a half, 45 minutes, and it's just like, man, I know you pass so many barbershops. I'm grateful, but it's no reason why you should be coming all the way to me like, let's get everybody cold. Let's get the prices up and get everybody paid. That's that's how I look at it. Like, I don't want to be the only person charging a high amount. I feel like we should all be charging a high amount, but I also feel like we should all take our craft serious, take our profession serious so that we can continue to elevate and be recognized more and more. What's that guy named? Uh, you know, of course, uh, Vic Blends, but I was watching during the playoffs or the finals or something last year last year for NBA finals. And I saw dude, uh, Philly Barber King on a Modelo commercial. I'm like, bro, this is so dope. Like they're in the barbershop following this, this, this guy around. Like, you know, they have those little stories. Like if I don't remember his name, but if Jose, whatever had given up, then he would have never become a celebrity barber. Like, bro, what? This is a barber. It's like, it's just dope to me, man. Just the fact that we're, we've been recognized, you know, so, uh, yes, 140. Man, forces jumped up, bro. I remember when it went up to 85 and to 90, and even then I was like, man, these forces is getting high. <laughs> somebody, I don't know if y'all wear Timberlands, but somebody told me, like, the Wheat Tims are, like, 220 or 230 or something like that now. I remember them joints. Was, they were high when I was in, in high school, middle school, but that – that was like 180, <laughs> 200. Hey, hey, appreciate that, E. You know what I'm saying? Got my, my Leah hat. <laughs> uh, if you like it, you can get it at, uh, where did I get this hat at? Uh, uh, PacSun, PacSun online. I, it's time to order another one. Like I put it in a washer the other day, and it kind of got wrinkled up. So I'm going to order another one. But I love this hat. I'll be getting a lot of compliments on it. But let's see what we got. We got five minutes left, guys. What do y'all want to talk about? Any questions? Um, anything I can help you guys with? Any information you want to know? Maybe something you've been wanting to ask me that I've never mentioned. I feel like I say everything. I, I tell you guys everything I know. So that's probably hard to uh, <laughs> come across. I I'll be talking about income. I'll talk about everything. It don't it don't matter, man. Cause for me, if you don't know how much you can make, then you're gonna set your bar too low sometimes. To me. Like I didn't know how much barbers could make. I didn't know what barbers made when I got into the industry. I just knew I fell in love with cutting hair and I'm like, 
I just want to be the best one day. And then you grow and you realize like, eh, that, that, that's a subjective term being the best. <laughs> um, Rusty said he wears Hirachis, bro. Hirachis are so, I don't know if they're slept on, but I feel like they're slept on, bro. I got, well, my son took my all black ones. I got a pair of, uh, like tan cream ones, man. I love, I love Hirachis. Let's see. I just got done cutting. I don't like cutting kids' hair. What should I do? Do you like money? <laughs> hey, um, I'll say this. The video that I'm working on, I'm, I'm going to try to have it ready to put out next week, is me cutting this kid's hair. I think it's maybe his second haircut. And, and he's like, I just cut his hair the other day. And he hadn't had a haircut from me since the, the other one, which was the videos from January. So I had the footage. I never used it because I wasn't on my channel. That boy acted up, bro, like crying, like snot, like just like literally just dripping down his nose and everything. And his dad wasn't no help. And, and he was trying to make the son sit there by himself. And then um, then he tried to hold the son. The son was still tripping. Then they go outside, get the mom. She's trying to hold him. He calms down for a little bit. Then he's tripping again. Like, it was a whole battle. And, and mind you, they didn't want a basic haircut. Like, I had to give him, mullet, give him a mullet and trimmers on top and an edge up in the front. Like, bro, just give your kid the most basic cut until they learn how to sit still and, and get calm. You know, when the shop becomes common to them, it's, it's not a foreign place. Then let's get into these other kind of haircuts and specialty things. I might put that on my website. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I don't mind cutting kids hair that can, can, that can sit still. But also when they're really young, like their hair texture is just trash. Like, especially if it's like straight hair, like little, the kid that I cut was a little Hispanic kid. And it's just like, you got to do too much. Like I couldn't get the line out with the clippers. So I had to come through with my blending scissors just to, to fade the rest out. And I don't want to be trying to figure out how to cut your hair on the fly. Like I just want to cut, Get you out and me get to the next person. Uh, Tom says, uh, I'm planning on going to barber school within the next few months to a year from now. I cut my own hair and it's just a high fade, but that's the only experience I have. Let's put that back up. I was reading slow. Should I get my first start in school? Bro, I met one of my homegirls. She's huge on social media now. Um, Clipper Queen is her name. When she came to barber school with us, she had never, ever touched a pair of clippers. One of my other boy, uh, homeboys had never touched a pair of clippers until they got into school. So in school, you're going to get the most reps. If you got clippers and all that kind of stuff, go ahead. Why not start then? But I will say that nine times out of ten, you're going to be forming bad habits that, that are, you're going to have to break. Like you won't have a barber chair that – rotate you know at the house you're going to be walking all around this person and all those different things so then when you get into barber school you're going to still have that same habit instead of just rotating the chair and you stand in one spot and what we call that is working the chair don't let the chair work you you shouldn't have 10,000 steps in a day and you're a barber that lets me know that you've been moving all around your chair doing doing way too much you know it's just little things like even in, in that situation, you know, most of our chairs that we cut in at the house, they don't raise up high enough. So I've seen people in the barber chair uh, have their customer, the chair is still all the way down, and they're cutting their hair. They're bent over. Bro, your back is not going to make it. If you want to be cutting hair 20 years, bro, pump up that chair. You know, it's just certain little things that you wouldn't think about, bad habits that you can form, um, if you if you start cutting before you get into barber school, but I'm not saying don't do it. Like cut hair, man. Cut as much hair as you can, but you'll get more reps in in barber school, and even then you won't be really really good until. Well, I won't say that because YouTube is so much different now. You know, for us, like I was watching YouTube, bro. It was no voiceovers. It was a beat and a dude, like just just cutting hair. You're like, oh, okay, that looks like. Is that a number two? Is that a one and a half? 
oh, I think that's a half guard. Let me let me rewind it again. Let me see what he did there. But, you know, you guys are coming up in a time where you got all the information and all you got to do is just keep practicing and you guys can be really, really good. Uh, DC said, don't cut kids' hair then if you don't want to cut kids' hair. Bro, you can customize your barbering experience to the way that you want it. But what I will say is that those kids grow into be into working uh, young adults and adults, and they can stick with you as you're cutting hair, um, and you train them and teach them how to get haircuts. You teach them how to look in the mirror. You can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love the fact that I have young people that I've been cutting their hair for a long time now. And, and, and some of them might've been when they were in sixth grade. Now the, actually the, the little kid that I was just describing to you guys, I was cutting his dad's hair when he was in like middle school. So now his dad is, is grown and now he has four children. It's like, it's crazy. So I, I like that kind of stuff, but it's not for everybody. You can, you can make your career how you want. Um, so he says he cuts his hair every week and you're really good. Okay. Yeah. You can get very good at doing your own haircut and then you get on somebody else's head and be trash. <laughs> so just, just cut everybody that's willing to allow you to practice. If your clientele low, you better cut them and get that money, bro. 100. This right here. I second that we don't pass up no money. If you're not getting money. Um, he says, I like that, bro. That's a problem that moves so much. They move so much. I hate not being able to do my best. Thanks for your input, bro. Honestly, you do the best that you can do on that client. So if he only allowed you to get to, um, through 50% of his haircut and he's refusing to let you finish then I'm, I'm sorry. I tried my best. He's not allowing me to finish his haircut. We're not going to be able to continue. Like, I, I don't have two hours to cut your, your child's hair. He's not ready. This is the price. It's going to be full price. I tried. <laughs> um, you just do what you can't, what you can't for real, for real. Oh, oh, okay. So you do what you can. And he says he has a lot of cl uh, kids and their parents understand. Yeah, bro. That's one thing that I, I had to realize is that when you get customers like that, that's not their first time acting like that, you know? So even if you do give them a decent haircut, they're going to be happy that you completed a haircut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's really patient, you know, all that kind of stuff. He was working with my son. Look at that right there. DC, he's obviously a, a, um, a seasoned barber. Yeah, as long as it's not horrible, you do a decent job, the parents just want it cut. But the problem is, is some of these new young, young parents that's like, oh, my baby got to have the best, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, your baby not ready for that. That could be a, a conflict. Joski, what's good? What's good? Hey, you late, but you here, man. I'm glad you here, bro. Um, we unbox some mythics, some sabers, and some sneakers just for you. We're going to do it one more time like this. We're going to run it back. Bam, we got, we got the mythics. Woo. I just love how these feel and sound. We got the sabers. I'll stop being lazy. And we got the sneakers. And these are some barber dunks. So as you can see, the barber pole, and then you got a haircut, like a design. Like if they put a design in somebody's head. And as well as clipper guard. So, yeah, that's what we unboxed here. That was a quick replay for my dog. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Hey, no problem, Tom. No problem at all. All right, Slacksy says, Deadstock, it's Henry. How you doing, bro? 
Henry, 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 you got to tell, remind me, Henry, where I know you from, my guy. Hey, man, hey, you know, hey, you know, you know what I'm saying? That the, the old folks used to say that's some wisdom coming through. Look at that, bro. Uh. Henry, you a barber? Or are you one of my customers or something? <laughs> Sometimes I get my customers, like, they'll just pop up on here. And that's another thing, man. Like, build relationships with your customers. They can go anywhere and get a let – me, let me run this back. They can go anywhere and get a haircut, guys. Like, the thing that sets your haircut apart from their haircut, um, from any other barber's haircut, is that you did it. It's you. So, build relationships because the relationship will take you a long way. People won't even feel right going and getting an, another haircut, even if they know a better barber. Even if you're not good yet, they will stick with you and grow with you as you're growing and getting better because, oh, man, I see this guy. He's always in the shop. Man, nobody's ever in this chair. I want to give him a try. And, oh, man, he, the haircut was okay. It was cool, but the conversation was great, and he seemed like he really cared about what I was talking about. And when I came in the next time, he remembered my name, or he asked me, like, how how the job interview go? How did he remember that from two, three weeks ago? I'm sure he sees so many people. Like, things like that is what sets you apart, and it's just not another haircut. You know, you can go anywhere, and I like to say it like this. You can get a haircut anywhere, but you can't find me everywhere. So it's only one me. There's millions of barbers, but it's only one me. So if you want me to cut your hair, then you got to come to me. And that's what people do. They'll drive from far. They'll wait. They'll book further out. They'll, you know, people are patient because they're like, oh, that's my barber. Like, I really rock with him. I mess with him. And I'm not telling you guys to get outside of your character, but it just helps. Just think about um, the things that people say about Chick-fil-A employees versus anywhere else, <laughs> you know, any other fast food chain. People are like, no, I mess with Chick-fil-A because they're always friendly. They're all, you know what I'm saying? Like people take those things personal when they're deciding where and how I'm going to spend my money. So it's, there's a psyche, you know, there's a, a mental aspect of barbering that's, it's just not fades, edge up, peace. You know what I'm saying? It's, hey man, what's going on? How, how you feeling today, bro? Normally you come in here real talkative, like you good? You don't want to talk today? Okay, then I'm, then I'm just going to be quiet, man. But if there's anything that you want to talk about, just let me know. Plus, you got my number if you ever need to hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's me. So I'm not saying you guys have to do it like that. But that's just my personality. I love people, and I genuinely care about the things that people are going through. So I make myself available. Like, last, last uh, Friday, I was packing my bags because Saturday I took off and I was going home to Portland, Oregon and um, to for my little brother's, his first child is, is uh, they did a gender reveal. And so um, one of my customers called me. It was like 1130 something at night. He was like, man, my bad, bro. Like, but he had already been going through something. Like he done broke up with his girl and all these other things. And he needs somebody to talk to. And he don't want to talk to his friends about that. He don't want to talk to his parents about that. He called his barber. <laughs> like, like I, I really think that barbering is is really mental. Like it's it is it's more about the relationship than it is about the haircut. Because when you think about it, we make people look good, which makes them feel good. But if I can really make you feel good as well, without just the haircut portion, like where the haircut is the icing on the cake, but the relationship is what what I really come for, the conversations is what I come for then, bro, you've got them staying there for life. And, 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 and when you can't, when you can no longer service them, then when it's time for them to move on and they move away or for whatever, for whatever reason, they, you know, their, their schedule no longer works with yours, like, bro, they're heartbroken. Like, bro, I'm not going to be able to come to you no more, but as soon as I can, bro, I'll be back in your chair. Or if I take a day off, like I'm coming to see you or, or if it's a, uh, uh, I'm on vacation, I'll make sure that I come through then. But for right now I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? And I get wedding invitations and all kind of stuff, you know? And, and I just feel like, bro, if we really had concern for individuals, then 
it can go a long way. As well as everybody don't want to be open up like that. Everybody don't want to talk. And for me, I'm in a private suite, so I get more people to open up than in a barbershop setting. So when I moved from barbershop to suite, I had some customers that I ain't know even knew how to speak English other than what's up, man. <laughs> what's what's there? I got in the suite. I'm like, I've never met you before. Hi, how, how are you doing? I'm Christopher Miniweather. I, I work here at this barbershop suite. You know, it's like, man, who was this guy? I, I didn't know you talk so much, but some men aren't comfortable. Um, aren't comfortable being vulnerable or even just, I don't want nobody in my business other than high and by what's up y'all. Oh, what was the score of the game? You know? So you, you also want to pay attention like a, like a comedian and know your audience, know what people are, uh, what kind of client that I have that's in my chair. Oh, man, this dude, he don't never want to talk about nothing like on that level. So I'm not even going to attempt it. We're going to keep it to, I got customers like, What's going on, man? Everything good? How's the family? All right, cool. And I'm just cutting. All right, man, I appreciate you. Shake them up, and they gone. And tip big, for you know what I'm saying? But anything outside of that, you know, every now and then we might have some deeper conversations on, like, what they're going through or or what vacation they're going on. But for the most part, it's just, like, just very cordial. I like how you cut hair, and, and your shop is clean, and, I don't have to worry about an inconsistent haircut, so I'll keep coming to you. So I, I won't act like everybody is on some uh, deep theological, personal relationship stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll up, and we're going to get through the, the comments, the questions, and then I'm, I'm 13 minutes behind. So as y'all can see, man, y'all can get me talking about some stuff, and I'll just keep going. Okay, so Rusty dipped out. Thanks for coming. Nah, it's my brother Nathan. That's oh, okay, okay. What's going on? What's going on? Yes, sir. It's been a minute. How you been? I hope y'all good over there. Uh, top three trimmers for home use. I gotta make a video about this. I definitely need to make a video about this. Um, because you want something that's that works well. And I'll bring this back up. Something that works well, that the price is not too high. So for me to pay $150 for trimmers, I'm going to get that money back because my customers are paying me for this. So I don't mind spending it on that, even though I prefer the price not to be that high. Uh, so when I what I normally recommend for my customers is corded Andis T outliners. Um and this Slimline Pro Li, because they are cordless, they can be zero gapped, and they aren't as expensive as most of these other things that we're using. I've seen somebody online on, on Reddit or something like that saying that, like, which one should I get? They're both $89.99. No, neither one of those trimmers should be that expensive. Go on to uh, Amazon and check the price. The, both of them should be maybe around $60, you know, 60, no more than 70 bucks. Like, and I think that's high. Um, and I don't have a third one for home use, man. If either of those, you grab either of those, I think you're going to be just right. Um, and he said, depends on your budget. Yeah. Same thing. He said, preach it. <laughs> he throwing gems. Yes, sir. Uh, high end trimmers. I want barber quality, not Walmart. I have a pair of Walmart Remington, and they are a letdown. So the Remington, are those trimmers or are those clippers? Well, are you asking about clippers or trimmers? Because you used the word trimmer. Um, on my website, I actually have a section for, it says at home use. So I'll show you what, what my, my customers can see. Let me see. Let me pull it up. I want to show you guys how I do this. Dead stock. Barbershop.com. All right, I'm gonna pull you guys over. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right, can y'all see that? You should be able to see it. Let me make this bigger. I got so much stuff up on my screen. Okay. So I got a section. This is my website. So my customers come here. They can see my little private suite and, you know, little pop-ups. 
dead stock makes me happy, look good, feel good, fresh from head to toe. You know, we got all these different little testimonials and people saying different things, and then you can see some haircuts. But go back to the top. I got a section called self-care. So with this, people can come in here and they can see devices and different things that they can use to keep themselves clean in between haircuts. So this is what I recommend. Oh, and, and some of them already know about this trimmer, so I added it on here if they want to spend the money. But, yeah, and all of these, you guys were talking about uh, Amazon affiliate links and uh, all kind of different affiliate links. You know, um, this is my affiliate link. So when they click on it, you know, click on anything. Let's see, like the Slimline Pros. They click that. And it takes them to Amazon. So, like I said, it shouldn't be too much more than 60, like I said, 70 bucks. Right now, you get a discount, $61. And these trimmers work really, really well. You can zero gap them. As you can see, look at that rating at a 16,000 rating um, uh, reviews. You got a 4.5. Like, that's awesome. And and a lot of people that are buying this stuff aren't really barbers. I can't. I don't know many barbers that would have uh, complaints about these other than after a while, like as much hair as we do with them, they, they can tend not to work as well. I will say that. But for me, um, the pair that I have at the shop right now, I've had for probably about four or five years now at least. So... Get back over here to my other screen. Cam. So, yeah, that's that's what I recommend uh, for at-home use. I'm going to put a few more items on there, like cool care, or just different things. But I try to – I some people would be afraid to, to teach their customers how to cut hair. But most people don't – how many of you guys don't enjoy cutting your own hair? You might be a barber and you're like, man, I just had one of the cats at the shop cut it up. I can do it better myself, but I don't want to take the time that it takes to to cut my own hair. I want to just sit down, let somebody else do it while I'm on my phone or whatever, you know. So I'm not afraid that my customers are going to be like, oh, man, uh, I don't. I'll just start doing it myself because most people don't want to do things themselves. And so um, same thing with even referring my customers to other barbers. Like I said before, I'm banking on relationship. So. Here's here's the best barber I know that can get you in even when I can't. And they'll be able to take care of you. They might find a new barber. They might not. But it's not really my concern, man. I'm just, my concern is really for the customer. So sometimes the best customer service is providing them with a different barber. Oh, man, I know how you like your hair. For some reason, I just can't get it right. Man, I got the perfect person for you. I've... <laughs> I got a lot of my customers that way because people like I'm more detail oriented and I listen and I'll do a full thorough consultation before I even go in. But for a lot of other barbers, they're like, man, just tell me what you want. And I'm, and I'm just going to go, bro. Don't tell me how, don't tell me this. Don't tell me that I cut hair. I know what I'm doing. I don't want to hear that. But then their customer ends up in my chair or they like, bro, you can have them like, Hey, can you get this dude in? And I, I became that guy that could, like whenever there's complaints in the shop, all right, just just start sending them to Chris, and <laughs> and then I end up cutting them up, and then like, man, no complaints. What? He don't even tell you what to do. Like, yeah, because I listened initially, but every time I cut his hair, he always had something to say because we weren't really listening. Um, <laughs> any Babyliss FX, not the FX three, it'll be too sharp. Yeah, the FX three is 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 gonna be rough. And most people don't want to spend one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred sixty dollars on those trimmers, bro. Honestly, I I tell people if you aren't making money cutting hair, then you don't have to get the best things yet. You don't have to go jump out there and get the most expensive tools, and you're not making no money from it yet. Like learn on Kimmy, learn on Circer. All of those different things, and then you upgrade. Get you a pair of slim lines because they can cut really well, but you don't have to have the most expensive clippers. You can get a $35 pair of Kimmy clippers, and it's going to do the same job. The only thing that I don't trust about those clippers 
is when you're doing 18 haircuts in a day. They're not going to last. You know, but other than that, like, they're going to give you the, the same type of cut that any other clipper would. I honestly liked when I did that video using the Circer and the um, and the Kimmy clippers. Um, one of them actually cut better than my Babyliss clippers did. I was really, really impressed. Really impressed. Uh, thanks for the gems, Chris. No problem, bro, at all. Uh, I'll just get the real thing, but I've never used it. Yeah, bro, all of that stuff. He's talking about the uh, what we call knockoff clippers, but in other countries, that's what they use on a regular. Like they use that stuff on a regular for real. Um, he says, I want trimmer for lineup. And edge ups, but want barber quality tools, and I'm willing to pay. I looked at the Gold FX FX3, Slimline, GTX, Sabers, all that stuff, bro. Just, bro, listen to me. You just saw. Go to DeadstockBarbershop.com, click on my page, hit self care, click on those uh those Slimlines, get those, get you a pair of uh Kimmy clippers, the the ones that look like. Um, I don't know their names like that. Like they have numbers and names and stuff, but you got some that look just like, uh, wall uh, seniors. Those joints are fire. You got another pair that look just like Babyliss. Those joints are fire. You don't have to go out and, and spend $200 on Clippers right now, bro. At all. Uh, what mods you got on those on the earth? What is that? Ethos? Ergos, um, I don't have any modded tools. I don't have anything modified other than what do I have that's modified? I have the wall 1919 with a, uh, with a wall legend bracket that opens up a little longer on there, but that's, that's it. Nah, nah, all my other stuff is, is not modified, but I do want to filthy blends. I think I'm going to get a, get one where I can put my master's blade on those, those same seniors as, as well as he has a, uh, a mod where I can put a Babyliss FX blade on the cordless detailers. So those are the, my next two things that I'm going to be purchasing as well as one for, to put the, the, uh, the Babyliss FX blade on the FX threes and take, get rid of that FX three blade because it's, it's bad. Um, all right, so here's our last comment for the night. Make sure it's click lever system too. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. Is a click lever system better than one that doesn't click? And the reason I ask that question is because when you get the click lever system, so, uh, oh, right here. I'm about to say, man, I wish I had some clippers so I could show them. Well, I do. So this right here would be, let me see, would be a, man, it's focusing on my face, a click lever system. So as you can see, click, click, click. So you get five clicks. This is closed. This is Oh, it's stiff. Quarter close, halfway, three quarters of the way open, all the way open. So it it just clicks, right? So those are the only positions that you have with these clippers. Versus if you had a pair of clippers that were not click lever system, um, you could go open to quarter, right? That same area away. But then you can move it over just a little bit, and now you're in between a quarter close and all the way close. You you just created a new length in between there for detailing, or and, and vice versa, and you know all the way so on and so forth. So you can be halfway and halfway in between the halfway mark and the three quarters open mark, or the three quarters open and the all the way open. You can move it in between there. But with this. It forces you to always be in that one of the five slots. Well, what if I want to be in between 
those two of these marks, you know. You can't really do it. So I don't I don't say that it has to be you have to do that. Uh you say it's better for beginners. I learned on masters and I felt like masters had those same notches, but it just didn't click. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's it's great for a visual aid. It's it's wonderful, like to see these lines here, but does it have to be a click lever system? I don't think it has to. But I know I know exactly what you mean. You're trying to simplify the haircuts for them. Uh he says, so you ain't putting a stretch bracket on here? I Bro, I'm definitely going to put the stretch bracket on these, bro. 100% it's coming on. Um, probably I'll probably do it Sunday. So, well, actually, yeah, I'll probably do it Sunday. So, Shirell, welcome. I think you just joined us. We did a, um, three unboxings. We did the Sabres, the Mythics, and we did a pair of sneakers. My bad. I was looking at the other camera. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, I said no more comments. Here we go. Uh, he says it's better for beginners. All my clippers are click lever except my revite. That's the floating lever I'm learning with. How do you like those revites? Because I've seen a lot of videos where people are like, man, I go to change the lever and them joints just pop off. <laughs> the whole thing pop off. What up, Nate? It's my dog right there. It's my dog. My ace. Um, he said he's speaking from a experienced barber perspective, y'all. LOL, I respect it, but nah, not for beginners. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you're a beginner, like DC said, it's it's a good visual aid to have these notches there. Um, and like I said, the um, the masters have the lines, but they don't have the notches. So... It's really going to be up to you what you want to learn with. And that's what I love about our our industry is, man, there's so many different perspectives. Like, my way is not right. It's just the way that I've learned. And so I'm sharing you with you guys what I've learned along the way. But DC is like, bro, I think this is best for beginners. So, bro, if he think it's best for beginners, then it's best for beginners to him. And it's your job to go and try it and see what works. So thank you for that, DC. He says, it clicking it, 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 it clicking in is what makes it easier. I have masters and still struggle. LL gold cordless masters, four hundred clip, four hundred dollar clipper, and I barely use and revite is just a disappointing purchase. Um, let me get you my address and you can send me those four hundred dollar masters. <laughs> uh, he said I did a review on a revite. They didn't pop off, but they still suck. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> uh, uh, Paige says my revite is cool I haven't had the experience as of yet the guards are funny but that 2.5 guard come in clutch for people with light edges and recession there's a two and a half guard there's a two and a half guard that is weird bro <laughs> that boy say he's not worthy of a floating lever I still try, but day I just keep, I just can't. Bro, it's the same exact thing, bro. One is just let you know that you're in that position, and the other one is you just put it in that position. So I think you're overthinking it. You definitely overthinking it, bro. You got this. <laughs> it, it it is no different at all. You use them for debulking, okay? A two point five and a three point five guard, and this and this does not care. I just want y'all to know this. Andis does whatever they want to do. They don't care what we actually need, what we actually want. They just make stuff. <laughs> they don't care, bro. What is? Why do I need a two and a half guard? I got a, I got a two guard, and I can open up the lever. Why do I need a, a three and a half guard? I got a three guard, and I can open up the lever. Like nobody's asking for this. What we're asking for is a better cordless master. One that doesn't break down. And I heard the gold ones are really, really good, by the way. Like, my boys that, that got the gold ones, they're like, bro, these ain't the same as the first ones. So, uh, DC, send that this way, man. Uh, I know you mentioned trimmers. What about blades if you had to choose one? Trimmer blades? 
What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Because, uh, bro, just, just get the trimmers, I said. You'll be all right. And also with the Slimline Pro, the blade is. these again so with the slimline pro the blade is probably come over here the blade is probably this wide half of this so just imagine when you're getting in tight corners like when you're getting in tight corners like little kids see uh vertical bars and their, their hair is all the way down you know, it's real close to their eyebrows or when you're doing it inside of somebody's beard. You know, you may not want to go in with this. It may, if you put this flat, now you done extended it further than what you wanted to versus the slim lines. You can get in all these little tight areas and not worry about, oh, man, the blade was too long. And, man, I just, now I have to adjust what I've done or I just cut their eyebrow or something like that. Uh, my guy says, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, up to an 8. Hello, the guards feel like the teeth will crack easy, too. That's stupid. <laughs> uh, Chris, what's your favorite clipper right now besides the Master? And I know you recently started liking the Ergo. Um, like I said, I recently started liking the Ergo and the Masters. <laughs> um, let's see. Is this something... I don't know, bro, like the stuff, because for like, I've had my masters, I have bought another pair in the beginning of the year and like two months later, they, they went down, they were tripping and I still haven't sent them in. I need to hurry up before my warranty goes out. But, um, during that time, so I had two pair of cordless masters that are down right now. And then I had a cord, another corded pair and I was using those and the cord needed to be changed. And I opened them up, and it looked different from what I remember changing the cord. So I was like, okay, I'm going to send those in too. So I came home. My wife, had she learned how to cut hair a few years ago. She's a style, uh, cosmetologist. And um, so I took her masters to the shop. But for two months straight, all I used was my ergos and my seniors. And normally, like y'all see from my videos, like when I do combo cutting, it's normally like it's always with the masters. It's something in masters. Fabulous and Masters or whatever, because I learned on Masters, I'm most comfortable with that. But I started cutting with those those ergos, and I got really, 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 really good with them. And, like, the haircuts came out exactly how I wanted. So I was just like, man, I brought those Masters up there, and I started using the same technique with it. And I was like, oh, my, I think I just got better, better. You know, it wasn't just the clippers. It was like everything that I learned, it – Using those other clippers, like, I just applied it, and I was like, oh, man. Plus my understanding of the range of the Masters. It just made me better with the Masters. So I've been cutting with my cord, corded, my wife's corded Masters for the last, like, month, and I've been icing food. I be trying to tell my boy about it. I'm like, bro, I I, I did a crazy haircut. He would be like, bro, you've been cutting hair 20 years. I don't want to hear about how good you are. Like, it don't even matter at this point. <laughs> um. Let's see, a few more, and then we're we're out. We're out. Uh, Got to head out. Man, thank you, Shirell. Mr. Shaw, for coming up, man. Uh, Apex was my first. So, let's see. Apex was my first, so it will always be my favorite. That's kind of how well, – that was the Masters wasn't my first clipper, but it was the first clipper I got in barber school. And so I really learned doing that. Uh, yes, trimmer blades. Bro, I don't have a specific trimmer blade that I like. I, I don't I don't know if, like, before, back in the day, we used to say, oh, you want a T-blade or the square one. But I don't think anybody even makes square ones anymore. So it don't really matter what blades you have. Like, whatever blade comes with the trimmer, as long as it can be zero-gapped. I'm not really a big on, like, the DLC and all that kind of stuff. I really don't know what all that means. All I know is that, a lot of that stuff didn't work when I used it for African Americans. So I guess if I had a preference for Babyliss trimmers, uh, it would be the original Gold FX blade, not the 2.0, not the DLC, not none of that extra stuff. It's the original Gold FX blade. That's my favorite Babyliss blade. But when it comes to 
and his T outliners, like all that stuff is it's, it's just the original blades on them. It is more hype at the end of the day for these trimmers uh, and different blades. Uh, man, a lot of time this stuff is hype, bro. So what they realize is that we're the same culture that's buying phones every year. We're the same culture that's buying sneakers every month. You know, like all of that kind of stuff. So the industry shifted to where it's like, man, look, they're always buying these same Jordans every year, but just in different colors. So now it's like, oh, let's put out trimmers the same way. Babelist, oh, you can customize your own color. You can, oh, now we're dropping the red ones. Now we got the camouflage one. Now we got the this and that. And it's the same stuff every year. It's just like, bro, stop selling me the same stuff. I don't want that. So that's why I hadn't bought, like, pretty much anything new uh, in a while because it's like, bro, they keep giving us the same crap and it's still not better and doesn't have the longevity of my corded masters that I had for the last 11 years since I was in barber school, you know, like that kind of stuff. It's like, bro, what are we doing here? Why is the price tripled and the longevity, like my masters, like I said, I had bought another pair cordless and they lasted me two months. So it's like, bro, what are we doing here? These things were 200 bucks, 180 bucks or something like that. So that's my spiel on tonight, guys. I gave you an extra 38 minutes. I was just going to be on for an hour, but, you know, I love to talk. I love kicking it with y'all. So thank you all for kicking it with me. Once again, I am Christopher Miniweather. This is Deadstock Barbershop, and we are signing out. I love y'all. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. If you're working in the shop this weekend, man, much success to you. I hope that your chair stays spinning. Hope that you stay booked. And if you're not in there, man, keep grinding. Get to where you want to be. If you don't want to be a barber, you just like cutting hair, you just like hearing me talk, thank you. But if you love cutting hair and you're not a barber, you know, I didn't plan on saying this stuff, so I'm just kind of rambling. But, yeah, if you if you just join the channel just so you can learn how to cut your boyfriend's hair or your children, man, you can get it. So keep coming around. Keep coming back. I love y'all. Have a great weekend. And this is Mini Weather, and I'm out. Peace.